giant puss in boots. Holy frijoles. Hey, giant! You want to see something cool? Gracias, the legend will never die. Puss in boots. You died. I have nine lives. And how many times have you died already? Uh, no. Pushing boots doesn't need a spotter. Watch. Watch. A guy always lands on his feet. Watch. You are down to your last life. Mama Luna is always on the lookout for a new lap cat. I am no lap cat. I am pushing boots. Not anymore. Oh. Meow. <laughs> I'm a stranded oh, no. yeah, I'm the man, you're the man. Come to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man. And uh, last night, yesterday, uh, I had the privilege of seeing a special sneak peek early showing of the new DreamWorks uh, Amblin Entertainment uh, animated movie, Puss in Boots. Uh, now this stars Selma Hayek, uh, Antonio Banderas, and much to my surprise, Florence Pugh uh, does one of the voices in this. Uh, you know, as you know, Antonio Banderas does Puss in Boots very much uh, in line of his Zorro <laughs> days. And uh, Selma Hayek, uh, does from, uh, you know, the first Puss in Boots movie, um, you know, uh, Kitty Softpaws, a uh, master thief. Um, and uh, Florence Pugh, uh, you know, the newcomer to this cast, uh, plays uh, Goldilocks, uh, leading the three bears. <laughs> <laughs> or as she's called in the movie, Goldie, uh, you know, a crime family, pretty much. Um, and well, without further ado, remember our radius scale, shock a thumbs up, it's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk, I don't recommend it. And for Puss in Boots, uh, the DreamWorks animated uh, movie uh, based on the Shrek properties, it is... A shock of thumbs up all the way. Let me just tell you, uh, I was laughing all the way through this movie. Um, you know, this is a heartfelt uh, tale that is soon to become a classic. Uh, I, I can't really say a holiday classic. It is out during the holidays. Again, I have an early, I had the opportunity to see an early screening of this movie. Uh, but it will be out for Christmas during the holiday times. Um, and, you know, realistically, it really doesn't have anything to do with the holidays. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's not like set for Christmas or Thanksgiving or anything like that. Um, you know, you've seen the whole trailer, uh, not just the clip that I showed you. Uh, basically, you get the gist of it. Puss in Boots after a long and illustrious uh, career of adventuring, of excitement, of action, you know, uh, of staring death in the face and laughing, oh, cause I am Puss in Boots, fear me if you dare. <laughs> he comes to the realization that, uh, you know, like many cats, he's used up most of all, well, it, most if not all of his extra lives. Uh, you know, cats being, uh, you know, uh, said to have nine lives. Uh, he's used up eight of them and is on his last life. Uh, and uh, that, you know, kind of takes the wind out of Puss in Boots' sails. Uh, he is no longer full of bravado and uh, gung-ho uh, look before you, you know, uh, leap before you look kind of uh, <laughs> adventure. Now, now, for the first time in his many lives, uh, he feels fear and doubt. 
uh, knowing that this is the last time. Uh, he backs off from adventuring. He becomes a lap cat too, as you see in the trainer trailer, uh, Mama Luna, who takes in all these stray cats and becomes one of one of the bunch of cats uh, that she cares for. Um, <laughs> and it is not until uh, you know his past comes a knocking on his door. Uh, A.K.A. Goldie, Florence Pugh's character, and the and her three bears coming to hunt him down uh, for the bounty that's still on his head, um, and getting notion that uh, there is this item out there that's not just a legend, not just a myth, called the wishing uh, the wishing stone or the wishing star. Uh, able to grant anyone one wish of whatever they request. And so it is with this that he gets the notion, Antonio Banderas's Puss in Boots, he gets the idea that, uh, okay, with this, I can wish for all my lives back, for another nine lives, start fresh and continue my long journey of adventuring and excitement. I don't have to stay retired. Um, unfortunately for him, or fortunately, his friend uh, from the other movie, uh, his first movie, Puss in Boots' first movie, um, uh, Selma Hayek, uh, Kitty Softpaws, uh, is also seeking out uh, this wishing star. And as a master thief, she has a bit of a leg up or should I say a pop for, <laughs> well, against uh, Antonio Banderas and all of the other, you know, many other people after this one wish. So Antonio Banderas, Puss in Boots, has his work cut out for him. Um, you know, there is a lot of action. There is a lot of adventure. Uh, just as the trailers foretell, or for, have foretold, uh, you get clips of all how he has lost his lives throughout the years, uh, each one being very uh, either frivolous or very adventuresome. Uh, the one with the giant that starts out the movie and puts him into this current situation, and that is filled with excitement. Uh, but this movie, uh, unlike, unlike much of the Trex movies that rely more on raunchy humor, uh, this is actually a fun-filled adventure. Um, DreamWorks, this would make an excellent uh, RPG game, uh, you know, video game for Switch, Nintendo, uh, you know, Sony, PlayStation, you name it, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, with this whole cast of characters, you know, and you can always throw in Shrek. Now, Shrek does not make an appearance. Uh, this movie does set up a sequel, perhaps, a follow-up, where he does go back to the land where Shrek uh, lives. Um, and, uh, you know, perhaps in the future he does meet up with him again for further adventures. Uh, but this is Puss in Boots's standalone adventure, again with Kitty Southpaws, Salma Hayek, Antonio Banderas, uh, re-teaming up again since the Desperado days. Uh, fabulous. Uh, I mean, these two are friends. They know each other in real life. Uh, for years and years have acted against, well, or, you know, alongside one another. Uh, so there's a great rapport that really comes through in this movie uh, that is very heartfelt. And basically, you find out uh, where Puss in Boots has been these years, where Kitty Southpaw have been, and why maybe their situation together currently is so estranged uh, and tense. Uh, we find out that Puss has kind of betrayed uh, Kitty Southpaws. I won't go into any more spoilers than that. Uh, but it does become very heartfelt, uh, this entire movie. Uh, not only about, you know, facing one's inevitable end, 
but also finding out what is more important in life, not just, you know, having multiple lives, uh, you know, being important, um, you know, it's not how many lives you have in life, but it's how you choose to live the one life that you have that gives it meaning and makes it, you know, very impactful. And this, this is what Puss in Boots, The Last Wish movie is all about. Uh, so again, not exactly all about the holidays, uh, but pretty, pretty symbolic and, and, you know, one can, you know, take the extra step and say, well, okay, this can be a holiday movie, you know, about family, about friendship, about wishes coming true in one form or another, um, you know, as in all uh, you know, DreamWorks Shrek-like movies. There are references to other characters. We get a shot of Pinocchio from Shrek. Uh, there's a new character, a big bad in this. Uh, not only Goldie and the Three Bears, but uh, somebody else, uh, Jack Horner, who sat in the corner uh, and stuck his thumb in a pie. <laughs> <laughs> he turns out to be a very, very big menace uh, for the show. And along with what I believe would be, I guess, best described as the Big Bad Wolf, a.k.a. who turns out to truly be death, which uh, basically has been hot on Puss in Boots' heels for many, many years throughout his multiple lives, looking to finally get a hold of the legend as he is on his last life. Uh, so, you know, it is interesting to see Antonio Barra and Barra Banderas as, uh, you know, not only Puss in Boots character kind of facing this, but, you know, Antonio Banderas, he's been in the business for a long time. He's done some, you know, uh, you know, dangerous stunts throughout his years, not only talking about the Desperado stuff, uh, but other movies as well, as he's been in other action movies. Um, you know, taking perhaps risks that he didn't need to take. Um, you know, and, and being older now, um, maybe looking at his own life and how he's lived his life and wondering how much time he's got left and also wondering, wishing, you know, as anyone would, for more time, of course. Um, you know, and uh, Antonio Banderas brings all that in and makes it very real. Uh, there's great funny humor in this, great action as Puss in Boots, you know, again, referencing... Uh, you know, the Zorro character that Antonio Banderas had played. And, you know, of course, uh, you know, Puss in Boots is a little bit, you know, somewhat based on being a swashbuckling adventurer. Um, you know, you can't go wrong with this movie. And, oh my goodness, you know, as good as Selma Hayek is in this movie, um, I wouldn't mind seeing... Uh, Goldie and the Three Bears with Florence Pugh uh, spinoff as well. Um, oh my goodness, she, you know, I mean, her distinct voice, it's like right away you know that. It's like, is that Florence Pugh? And then at the end, watching the credits, it's like, that is Florence Pugh. And it's like, she's super good in this movie, as she is in most of her other movies. Uh, not mentioning <coughs> Midsummer. <laughs> I don't know. She she got accolades for that. I didn't see it. Uh, yeah, so I'm not into that. But uh, but yes, this was a very good movie for Fish Lawrence Pugh, and I would love to see her character return, perhaps in another spinoff. This definitely again with Puss, Puss in Boots's second movie uh, really raises uh, the dimensions of this world, grows it so much more outside of. The simple Shrek fart jokes and all that uh, with him and with uh, and Donkey, 
Uh, this is something that you can take your family to, your young kids, and you're not going to, oh my God, I can't believe they did that. Like in Shrek, uh, you know, this is much, much more family friendly and definitely a shock of thumbs up. Fun for the adults, for the kids. Um, I'm, I may even buy this movie on DVD. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. It's, it's, it's really good. All right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, saying check out Shrek. Oh, well, Shrek. <laughs> Don't check out Shrek, uh, especially if you have small children. Because <laughs> that may be the first one. Um, but definitely check out Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, coming this Christmas season. A strong shock of thumbs up. All right. Mahalo and aloo.